Hey everybody, today I'm building a retort and I'm gonna see if I can get rid of some mercury that's on my gold. I found this hundred and something page PDF document where they're talking about small scale artisan mining and mercury. They came up with a bunch of different ways for these guys who were using mercury to capture their fine gold and recover that mercury to be used again. So as an advantage, instead of just burning it off into the atmosphere, they'd say, hey, not only is this better for your health and the environment, but with a really cheap retort, you're able to retain that mercury, which you can use again in the future. And when you gather enough mercury, you can actually take that into a collection point and, and get some money for it. So what I've done is tried to make the cheapest <laughs> uh, mercury still that I possibly can. So what I have here is my receipt for $14.62. I have three quarter inch, just black uh, gas pipe, 24 inches long, got an elbow here and a little cup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my mercury covered gold into this cup. I'm gonna heat this end up. It's going to vaporize the mercury. It's gonna come down this tube. And then this water bottle, It's I've just sort of cut the water bottle open. And that's kind of important because if this was just stuck into a gold pan full of water, because you do want to put uh, you want to put this end under water so that the vapors don't just escape into the atmosphere. You want that mercury to sort of bead up down here in the water. I'm not going to worry about uh, cooling this. You could wrap a wet cloth around that if you wanted to, but for the small batches that I'm doing, you, the, this tube should have enough thermal energy to cool that mercury as it comes down and then it'll bubble away in the water. But when you're finished, if all of a sudden this uh, starts cooling off, it'll create a vacuum and it'll suck the water back up the tube. And if that water gets to the point where it's really, really hot up here, it hits all that really hot gold to create steam and just sort of blasts everything all over the place and it sprays all your mercury everywhere. Um, at least that's what I read in this document. So I don't want that to happen. So that's what this is about. So what we're gonna deal with here is, I guess the scale turned off, but this is 7.2 grams of gold. And mercury does slowly evaporate at room temperature. So if you were to store this in an open container in your house for years, or if you spilled a little mercury on your rug, you might wanna get rid of that rug. But as far as just handling it like this, I'm, I'm sure this is gonna be frowned upon, but as long as you wash your hands immediately after and before eating um, mercury by itself it's the kind of thing they used to take it out of a thermometer and let you play with it in your hand a little bit back in uh, grade school uh, until that became a big no-no but what i'm going to do is i'm going to throw this into the retort we're going to see how much weight of mercury i actually lose and pretty up this gold uh, this is generally east kootenays bc i guess uh Back in the day, they used mercury um, in the big gold dredges all over BC and up north. And in this region of British Columbia, it was the hydraulicking operations where they had sluice boxes. And I don't know if they put it in the sluices, hoping that the gold would stick to it and then like act as a magnet for it. Or if it was just during the cleanouts, so they sort of used it to gather all the fine gold together. But there's a lot of this stuff that's sort of left up on gravel bars and in the environment. And so going to clean a bit of that up right now as a bonus to finding my gold. So hopefully this works as a precaution. I'm doing it outside, standing crosswind, but I do expect to uh, capture all of the mercury that comes off this small amount of gold. Some chunky stuff. So there's your little bit of gold down there. I'm gonna screw this on tight. Oops, I don't wanna be dropping that. All right, now let's heat that up, fill this thing with water, do this right. Heat this up. Give it a couple minutes and uh, and we'll let it cool off and have a look. I'm going to capture all this stuff, but you know, 
added precaution just in case. Tube's still plenty cold down there. I'm not sure if I gave it enough heat. This is the oil coming off of the, the gas pipe there. Come back in five minutes and uh, see what it looks like. It took several minutes for this to get sort of red hot. I waited till the whole thing was nice and red hot. It has cooled down since. I've already cracked the torque off of it. There you go, that is some nice gold colored gold. We'll take this into the garage and have a closer look. And, oh look, a few little beads of mercury just, could you look at that? <laughs> I've gathered actual mercury. All those little beads were once on my gold. All right, I'm going to get these into some vials and we'll uh, check it out in the garage. It's interesting is all those tiny little balls, as I jiggle it around, they sort of combine and slowly come together. But there's a, a decent amount of like surface tension on them where they don't, they don't just all glob into one thing right away. It's still kind of in multiple beads, but you can feel it's like, heavy, quite shiny. Kind of curious, um, what I want to see is the total weight to be the same between this and the gold and not to have lost any vapors into the atmosphere. So within the accuracy of my scale, I'm going to get a weight and let you know how we did. There we go. I don't think I got a lot of water. Wow. 0 0.97 grams. 0 0.98. Okay, now I'll weigh my gold. So one thing I've noticed is this is kind of solid clump now. It's sort of like all of the mercury. Um, I don't know what it did. Like it glued it together and then melted away. So... It does seem to, you know, come apart here, but I'm going to have to knock this, knock this out of here a little more violently into a gold pan. Let's see what we get here. This chunky stuff doesn't want to fall out the end. Okay, so 6.20 plus, what did we have, 0 0.98 that we captured. So if I do the math, uh, 6.2 plus 0 0.98, that gives us 7, uh, come on brain, 7.1. Eight. And I believe we had 7.20. So within the error of my scale, um, and it, it took a little effort to chip everything out of that dish, so I might have lost a bit there, but it looks like we have maintained our mass. So we have turned mercury-colored gold into a bead of mercury and less mercury-colored gold. I know this was not the best presentation, uh, nor is it the best method of retorting your gold. The goal here, the sort of reason I wanted to share this video was because there's going to be people out there, myself in the past included, where you've got a little bit of mercury on a, a flake of gold here or there, and you have that choice. Like, I don't know, do I just torch it off into the atmosphere or do I have the option to get myself a little shiny bead? Um, and so this was a way that with no tools, just three pieces of uh, gas pipe fittings from Home Depot and a blowtorch, and you've got yourself 
a, a retort. Um, so that that's the idea is now you have a cheap, easy, fast option to get that mercury out of the environment should you cho so choose to do so. That's all I kind of wanted to uh, present with this. So that's, that's this week's video. Thank you everyone for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel to help me grow this thing. And uh, who knows what we're up to next week. Until then, thanks for watching.